are going to school. We are going to school. Ozzy and Mac, written by Trish Holland, illustrated by Dan Crawl. Ozzy Otter broke a rule when he brought his pet to school. In the pack on Ozzy's back sat a little bug named Mac. Not one sound, do not forget, Ozzy said to Mac, his pet. You'll go home if teacher sees. Stay inside and don't move, please. <laughs> But that speedy bug jumped out onto Foster Fox's snout. Ew! Foster whispered, Catch him quick, or I think I may be sick. Ozzy reached, but Mac hopped over onto Sylvie Squirrel's shoulder. Sylvie said, Your bug is here, hiding right behind my ear. Mrs. Bunny turned around. No more noise. Please sit back down. Time to sing our ABCs. Then we'll count our one, two, threes. Ozzy, Foster, Sylvie too did not know quite what to do. So they sang out loud and strong. On the floor, Mac danced along. <laughs> Ozzy tried to tackle them. Mac just bounced away again. Next, he leaped up on a shelf. Mac would not behave himself. Mac turned cartwheels way up high. This is trouble, Ozzy sighed. Mac flew out across the room. Then there came a great big... fluttered in the air. Books and pages everywhere. <laughs> Eek! Shriek, teacher. What is that? <laughs> Mac is who she pointed at. This is Mac. <laughs> he loves to play. He'll be good. Please let him stay. Teacher said, you know the rule. You may not bring pets to school. A plan was needed, Ozzy knew. Watching Mac, he found a clue. I can read this book to you. That is something I can do. <coughs> Students listened like they should. Teacher saw Mac could be good. Mrs. Bunny scratched her head. <laughs> tapped her foot, and then she said, I will change that silly rule. You may all bring pets to school. Ozzy Otter shouted, Yay! Teacher says that Mac can stay! In the morning, pets came too. How the story circle grew. On the top of teacher's head sat a little bug named Ned. All the students laughed out loud. Mrs. Bunny beamed so proud. 